journey with me as I get some mac and cheese for dinner. <laughs> hey guys! Ah! My name is Miranda, and if you clicked on this video, you obviously saw the title, and you obviously see that I'm going to be seeing Cassandra Clare tonight. Oh my gosh! Cassandra Clare is actually on her Queen of Air and Darkness tour, which is her newest book. <laughs> and I literally, I can't even, I don't think my brain is processing that I'm actually going to see her tonight. Like it's malfunctioning or something. So my plan is to vlog as much as I can. I'm not really the kind of person that vlogs while I'm doing things. Sorry, I'm opening my mac and cheese. I'm the kind of person that vlogs mostly when I'm reading, hence why I have a ton of reading vlogs. So my plan is to vlog as much as I can tonight. I'm not gonna vlog every single second of it because um, that's a bit obsessive. I will vlog most of it so you guys can see the gist of how it went. And then I am going to vlog me reading Queen of Air and Darkness because I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. It's gonna be a party. I'm going with my friend Coral and her sister and literally, oh guys, wow. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Oh my god, you're vlogging. Yo, 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 we're here. Look, Shadow Hunter Army. Can you even see it? It's okay, I'll show you later. Guys, but look how pretty it is in here. It's like so pretty. I'm so, oh my gosh. She's soon gonna be sitting in one of those chairs. Where is she? <laughs> Iran and spent much of her childhood traveling the world with her family. She spent her high school years in Los Angeles and her adult professional life in Los Angeles and New York, a city that she really loves, right? New York, yes. yeah. So she began to write City of Bones, book one in the Mortal Instruments in 2004, and in 2006 dedicated herself to writing fantasy fiction full time which meant that she got to transition from wearing like formal clothes to the office to working in her pajamas at home, right? <laughs> like the rest of us. You will know her for the Mortal Instruments and the Infernal Devices, the Shadowhunter Chronicles, the Magisterium series, some short fiction and graphic novels. Queen of Air and Darkness, which she presents to you this evening, is book three in the Dark Artifices in the Shadowhunters universe. <laughs> one right or correct way to write anything. I think it is whatever works for you personally. I am a plotter, um, so before I sit down to write a series, I'll do what I call a macro plot. So that is the plot that covers all, you know, the books in the series. Three books cover sort of the arc of the three books and the major things that happen in them. Then when I try to start from novel, I'll do a micro plot, which is the plot of what happens in that novel broken down by chapter. So this often drives people I know who are more Panther's completely insane, but I can. I, I remember having this conversation with my friend Holly Black, who um, is more of a a pantser, and I would said to her, you can't write unless you know what happened before, and I can't write unless I know what happens later. Like, unless I know what's going to happen at the end of the book, I can't. Do the I can't do the middle part, but it's totally different for for different people. Absolutely different people can write, you know, without. I mean, I call them like headlight writers. They can just see like what's ahead of them, you know, on the highway, just as far as the headlights go, and they can do fine. But without an outline, I'm more like a person driving along with the headlights off and the light on inside the car. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, guys. Oh, Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Any of you? No? No? no. Okay. What down brother would you do? So, I know that, okay. See, she's curious. So, so the fairies. Uh -huh. I've always imagined myself like being a fairy, but I know they're kind of like, they're, they're, they're going to be a fairy. I feel like they're kind of, they're like, they're almost like the mean girls, like in yeah. high school, you know? So yeah. I don't know if I could hang out with them, but I think if you I'm could, it would be girl, pretty cool. I'm a mean girl, but it's like. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'd be a very nice fairy. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my gosh.
I honestly have no freaking idea where I'm gonna put this book because it's almost 900 pages long. <sighs> I'm gonna get no sleep these next couple of days, guys. I might be running late to class, but at least my child is safe. So I finished the book I was reading before. Last night I finished it, so I haven't even read anything of Queen of Air and Darkness yet, but I'm planning on doing that tonight, so I'm gonna start it today. If you haven't read the book and you don't wanna get spoiled, then I would highly advise you don't continue watching this because I'm gonna be spoiling it. Spo spo spoiling it? Yes. I'm gonna be spoiling it, okay? <laughs> Julian is such an idiot. <laughs> he is such an idiot. Why would he go to Magnus Bain and have him erase his emotions? Oh, I think my biggest deal with this whole situation is the fact that Julian didn't even care beforehand that Emma's feelings would get hurt. Like my heart is broken for Emma because she freaking loves him so much. Well, pff, she did. And then he just threw it all away. I mean, I get he did it for the greater good and he didn't want anybody else to die and he didn't want to hurt anybody else, but like, Emma, he hurt Emma. So it's been a hot minute since I last vlogged. This book is kind of scaring me, but it's kind of making me really, really happy at the same time. First of all, I just want to acknowledge that Kieran needs to go away. I do not like Kieran. I have never liked Kieran as a character. He is so, so manipulative, I feel like. I, I guess I should forgive him, but he just makes things so, so complicated because Mark and Christina need to get together, but now Kieran is just waltzing in the room like, hey guys, and it's not okay. Also, um, I literally am on the page where Julian and Emma enter the portal and Julian gets all of his feelings back. And I literally am freaking the crap out. So I'm gonna stop vlogging right now so that I can finish this and see what the heck is happening and see what ends up happening because I don't know how he got his feelings back, but he did. All right. Hey guys, so today's been kind of a crazy day. So I was going to finish Queen of Air and Darkness today for this vlog specifically, but I know that that's not going to happen just because I'm so stressed out with homework and it's late at night and this vlog needs to go up today. So here's what I'm gonna do. Today is the first day of the Christmas at Hogwarts readathon and the first challenge is to finish the book you are currently reading. So I think I am going to finish the book Queen of Air and Darkness for that vlog instead of this vlog. So basically what I'm saying is that all of my actual end emotions on the book Queen of Air and Darkness is going to be in next week's video where I do the Christmas at Hogwarts vlog. Right now I'm actually very, very iffy about Queen of Air and Darkness, which is kind of disappointing. I thought I was really, really going to enjoy it but I'm really, really iffy just because there's a lot of things that I don't agree with that are in here. A lot of the relationships are kind of freaking me out in a way, and that's totally just my personal opinion. Like, other people might read this and totally dig it, but for me, it's just not my style. I'm obviously going to continue reading it. I might finish it tonight, but I will not be able to put my feelings over the full book on this vlog. So I'm sorry if you guys were disappointed, but you will be able to continue watching my Christmas at Hogwarts vlog if you want to see all of my emotions on this. But yes, thank you all so much for watching this vlog and going with me on this journey. I met Cassandra Clare and got her to sign my book. It's just so, so cool. This has been such an awesome, awesome experience and opportunity. I love you guys so much. Please be safe, make good choices, and I will definitely see you next 